Hey everyone, this week I'm working on a built-in bookshelf at my friend's house. So this entire wall is going to be one big bookshelf with one of those library ladders that slides back and forth. So I wanted to film it because it's kind of an unusual project and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I've got all the material purchased. I've got birch plywood panels, three quarter inch, a bunch of trim, poplar boards, one by six, one by twelves. Uh, some one by threes, and we're gonna transform all this into a cool looking bookshelf. By the way, this is about $2,000 in material in today's market. Ugh. You can see I already took the baseboard off and took off the outlet and the switch. These are gonna get moved forward onto the actual furniture. One of the first things I wanna check for is if this floor is level. I've got a self-adjusting laser giving us a level line across the base here. The laser's hitting at two and a quarter inches off the ground. But over on this far side, the laser hits at two and three quarters above the ground. So that means this side of the floor is half inch lower than that side of the floor. I gotta take that into account when I build these bases to make sure that the whole piece is level all the way across. Because I don't have my table saw, one of the first things I need to build is a platform in order to cut those panels. So I'm gonna build some wide saw horses to lay those panels on to cut them with a circular saw. The guide on my rigid circular saw is a little bit off and I really want some nice clean square cuts so I did buy a new circular saw and I've got this one inch square aluminum to clamp down on the panels in order to get a nice straight cut. Oh, it's already on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How did Stacy build that? He's good, kiddo. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing.
every single piece of wood that I cut, I have to sand it to get all the burrs off. Even though I've got a nice finishing blade, it still has a little bit of fuzz on the edge. So I have to sand every one of these pieces that I'm nailing together. And I'm happy with the way it's coming out so far. These stir sticks make wonderful spacers. And that is our last piece. So this is what we got so far before I've got to paint it. Usually when I paint furniture, I use a deck paint because deck paints are hard and durable. But in this case, I'm using Sherwin-Williams. I told you Sherwin-Williams is my favorite brand. This is an emerald urethane paint. So this is gonna harden just as much, if not harder, than a deck paint. Um, this goes for about $100 a gallon at Sherwin-Williams, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so here's the rolling hardware and the rails. However, the brackets to hold the extra rails aren't showing up for another three weeks. All right, it's been a few weeks since I've been over here working on the project because I had to wait for the hardware to come in. We ordered the rails and glides for the ladder, but we needed a couple extra brackets. So I just got finished marking that out with my helper. ladder all assembled now, painted, and I had to fill some holes with wood putty. So I've got to sand that down and touch it up and we'll be done. And that is that. So we've got this beautiful bookshelf with the library ladder and I'm really happy with the way it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time.